How are you guys doing today? So today we are going to talk about a uh, uh, very, very familiar wine for, for our store, uh, Barnett. Um, uh, one of the very, very prestigious uh, wineries uh, out of Napa. And um, I've even met uh, the, the winemaker, uh, David Tate, an awesome guy. Uh, probably around 12 to 13 vintages under his belt uh, at the winery um, and um, so they do phenomenal stuff um, one of the popular ones is the rattlesnake uh, definitely you must have heard about Barnett rattlesnake so today we're not gonna do rattlesnake but uh, we're gonna have uh, the Spring Mountain uh, um, Cabernet Sauvignon um, so it's straight up cab, but you know, like making it uh, Bordeaux style. So they have uh, blended with the Petit Bordeaux, uh, Merlot, and some Cab Franc. Uh, slightly higher, higher bit of Petit Bordeaux. Um, the vintage is 20, 2017. Um, the past vintage, uh, vintages have uh, rated like around 94 points uh, from Robert Parker. Um, I have I have I haven't heard about anything any reviews, except I guess um, uh, Willy Wong. Uh, they he rated it 92 points. Uh, uh, I read it somewhere. Um, but beautiful wine. Can't can't talk enough of that. So let's uh, let's try it out and uh, let's see how it stands out. I guess we have been featuring this wine since uh, since it came into the existence, you know, and um, uh, has been uh, a huge success uh, at at uh, at our shop. I mean, the color is. I'm sorry, it's a bit dark, but it is very rich, very dark, and uh, even according to their tech sheet that I was going through. Um, this is one of their darkest uh, cabs that they have ever come out with. While while swirling or rating it, uh, I'll tell you about the, how they have aged it. It's aged for 22 months uh, in um, in French oak, and um, I guess 70% uh, of that was new oak. So so it should be outrageous. I would rather use the word. Oh my God! Like black black raspberries just jumping out. It is like jammy. Like I I smell some jam. And you know, especially the 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 French oak, it the the character it gives. I sometimes think that it is more on the spicier note. So I even can smell can smell black pepper like more like like I would say not use the word metallic but lead lead I can I can, I can. lead lead is there like pencil lead or oh, like violets violet flowers very complex nose I have to I have to say that this is a very complex nose Wow, very full body, lush, rich palate, a lot more dark fruit, uh, you know, like red plums, red berries, dark red berries, almost blackish red berries. And that, that cedariness that I get of like a, like a cigar box, you know, when you smell a cigar box and when you imagine the taste of that, it definitely gives you that like chocolate mocha kind of like flavor profile on the, on the tannin side it's it's slightly more acidic because of the mountain fruit uh, spring mountain the ABA spring mountain you know like 
slight you can see acidic but but the tannins dominate that it, it it's not acidic i would use the word but you still find that acidity there but really greatly balanced you know like the classic old old world and the new world i mean the flavors are 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 lingering you know it's, it's it just stays with you for wow for a very long time yeah and the finish is like i can taste the the blackberries the mocha very lingering wow so when it comes to pairing something like this easy like a great uh, new york strip uh, uh, or uh, like marble steak would be a perfect pairing for a wine like that see you know as the temperature temp temperature kind of like goes up it just like slightly starts opening up so if you if you're if you're planning to open up this bottle for a dinner i would i would easily tell you to cork the wine open the wine up cork it up and just let it sit for half an half an hour so you know like as i as i mentioned earlier so it's a, it's a blend of not 100 you know like majority is uh is cab and they have petite bordeaux they have uh, Merlot uh, and uh, and Cab, Cab Franc uh, added to it. So how I, I, I put it is like uh, the Petit Verdot kind of like gives a nice um, tannic or structured tannic, stru you know, tann uh, tannins to the wine. Um, Merlot, Merlot is uh, more uh, towards the mouth feel of it, you know, like how bold or, or how how, how how rich it is in your mouth and uh, the cab franc I think in here if I've tasted the cab francs properly it it's that adds that spice to it um, uh, spice and uh, aroma the aromatics um, phenomenal wine uh, we have it uh, on our website um, the member pricing is very 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 competitive and um, I guess we are offering free shipping with that and uh, for for the locals here um, and people living around Palm Springs they can stop by anytime we definitely always keep one of the Barnett's maybe we have also tried one at one time the rattlesnake was there um, uh, but Barnett cabs or the Spring Mountain Merlot we always keep it here uh, really great friends with the, the the winemaker so it's definitely we support them a lot um, anyways it was beautiful chatting with you have a wonderful day happy sipping